With more than 200 A380s in the air and another 100 planes yet to be delivered, it really makes you question as to why no Indian carrier has placed an order for the Super Jumbo, considering that the growth in the Indian subcontinent market is set to double within the next 20 years. You see, it's not an issue regarding the price tag that comes with the plane, because the Indian market is home to many new generation, super efficient planes like the Dreamliners, the Maxis and the Neos. But rather, it's more to do with flexibility and demand. Now, airlines like Singapore Airlines, Emirates, British Airways have only one hub. So essentially, they can refurbish that one hub and maintain all of their A380s in one place. But if you compare that to Indian carriers, they have hubs all over the country. So they need more flexibility with operating routes from certain bases. Now, majority of the airports in India don't have facilities to handle the A380 and it's more efficient to increase the frequency of flights than bringing one A380 to accommodate increasing demand. So let's take Jet Airways as an example. They currently fly twice daily from Mumbai to London Heathrow and by doing this, it was more efficient to open a third flight with the Boeing 777 rather than changing one of the flights to an A380. Reason being is that not a lot of passengers fly in business class and it's more efficient and it won't lead to empty seats. So instead of having empty seats due to low demand, especially during off-season, they could just decrease the frequency of the service. Now airlines want to fill all of their seats on their planes, and if demand increases to the extent that their hub is congested and they can't afford to open a new daily service, then they may consider expanding one of their current services to A380. Moreover, staff have to be trained to operate the A380, especially the pilots and the crew. This will be considerably more expensive to train the staff in operating the A380 as it is a big plane compared to the standard 777, 747 and the A330. Now, essentially, Indian carriers have to use their planes for multiple bases. For example, if they use an aircraft to fly from Mumbai to Dubai on the same day, then they can send that aircraft to Chennai and use it for the Chennai to Singapore route. Now, smaller aircraft don't take much time to maintain and that makes aircraft more efficient. If we look at Air India for example, they only have four 747s. One is a government plane and the other three are for passengers, but they're rarely used. Instead, there's a huge demand for the Airbus A320neos, the 777s and the 737 Maxis. Now, if the government decided to build a new facility for the high volume of international traffic, then purchasing an A380 might make sense. But otherwise, it might be very difficult for the airline to make a sound business case to purchase the plane. So all in all, Indian Airlines don't buy heavy aircraft due to less passenger demand. There's just no point flying around empty seats and losing money for the airline. It's not like the country doesn't have the capability of operating the plane, but the issue of politics plays a far bigger role than simply purchasing a new plane. So there you go captains, that was a brief overview as to why Indian carriers prefer to use smaller wide bodies than the A380. Now if you have any thoughts or opinions regarding this, then as always, do share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my fellow captains. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.